We're back at the University of Iowa phonetics website, and we're going to look at the back vowel sounds. The first sound I call oo as in blue. Ooh. You can see that the tongue moves back, and the lips are very rounded, which you can see here. It's a very long sound. It's the sound in words like drew, blue, or threw. In contrast to the oo sound, we have another sound. It's similar. I call this sound uh, as in wood. Take a look here. It's a little more relaxed than the oo sound. The lips are not as round. Uh, it's the vowel sound in words like foot, cook, and good. Many non-native speakers will say good, oo is in blue for good, but you want it to be uh, good. The next back vowel sound I call this O as in rose. Oh. Oh. Again, it's considered a back vowel sound. And the lips oh. are quite round for the O. Very, very common sound in American English. I'm going to go to this sound next. I call this sound AH as in olive. It's a fairly low sound. Your tongue is fairly flat. Uh, it's a very, very common sound. It's spelled in a variety of ways. Awkward. Clock. Raw. Problems. Let's look at the lips for the ah uh, sound. Uh, look at how wide your lips are open. Uh, Doctor. So that's the ah uh, sound. Also in the back, we have a sound. Uh, uh. I call this sound Auburn, and you can see your tongue is a little uh. further back for Auburn. Some people don't think there's a big difference between these sounds, and perhaps there's not. Uh. Uh. There's not a huge difference between these sounds. I say ah as in doctor, but I might say ah as in jaw, ah as in jaw. Those are the back vowel sounds.